Hello there, internet friends. It's Too Old for Gaming, and today I am bringing you a one versus one matchup. I am playing the 25th Panzer Grenadier against Papa1996, who's playing the uh, 8th Division Cavalry Romanian Forces. So, a um, bit of a change up from my most recent videos. My strategy is obviously going to be a bit different, and I will say. Having played so many 10 versus 10s and then going back to a 1 versus 1, it is so much more stressful to do a 1 versus 1 versus a 10 versus 10. So, trying to get a pack 40 set up here on the road in case he's going to try to rush across here, as some may do. I've got SPW 233, so we're spotting his trucks over here, but he's got a pack 38 who gets out, kills my driver. Let's see if he gets another shot off. It's a penetration. And we are destroyed. I think he might have taken some damage there. And it looks like he is going to try and go do a flank through the forest. I'm moving this SPW-233 up and around to try to hit him from behind. So he actually doesn't drive all the way through. I've got an MG-42 here firing. And now we've got a JU-88-D3 coming in for my 233. I have um, BF... 109 G4s, which, to be honest, are, aren't great. They have been able to damage planes, but they don't have enough 20 mils to really destroy them. And for some reason, he pulled off to turn around, and he gets away. So I was trying to bring these M44 Sostrup over. But these uh, Venatori de Garda are, are pretty strong, and they get wiped. Pac-40 still doing his job back here. Pinning down all the Rossarori. Takes a casualty from that Jagdpanzer. Another one. He misses on that second shot. And these Panzergrens are just completely pinned by the ZB-30 fire. Gets a penetration on the Jagdpanzer. My MG-42 and Panzergrenz are getting pinned down over here. we got a bounce, and we're almost fully suppressed here. Fire it. And they trade, so I, I'll take a trade. I did move up a couple Pioneers over here. But uh, he had some assault teams with with uh, Molotovs, and uh, just he actually had quite a bit of stuff, so... Ends up wiping out my Pioneer, so not going great so far. We're at a 12-12, though. I've got a Stug 3M moving in and an SPW-233 forward to check out the area first. He does have a Pack 38 in here. Now, I didn't detect any movement in the center, so I decided it'd be best to move up my MG-42 and Pack 40 that I'd put in place here. And I'm moving since my Pack 40 was destroyed up here, I'm moving in another one. I'd moved my uh, 250 slash 8 up. Unfortunately, he was destroyed by this Turan 2. And my team's getting wiped out over here. But my SPW-233 hopefully gets a flank on him. So, so far, I'm up by one, but then that flips back. So we're, we're just kind of going back and forth on this match. And all I've got is a Panzer Shrek. And I've got just a five-man team guarding back here for the moment. And these guys, for some reason, were out outside of the forest instead of being in cover. I do manage to get behind him and destroy his Hotchkiss trucks, which not really a great accomplishment at 15 points. And the Zrinyi 2 is coming in to take me out. So moving up more Pioneers. I did not see how many, how many men he had in here. We've got a bunch of R1s moving up. Move my Panzer Shrek back to save him because I knew he had this force coming up. SPW233 spotting that ZB53, which is going to be big to take out. I'm trying to move this Panzer Shrek forward to take out the Turan 2. And we do. That was huge because these guys are all super vetted. So getting behind him with this guy was pretty huge. As you can see, they're all taking fire out in the open here. Get another casualty on his leader. 
And I'm just trying to retreat this Panzer Shrek. But he's got two snipers here. My MP44 team, though, in range to take out this one sniper team. And our MG42 is set up to cut him off across the road. Unfortunately, the Panzer Shrek does go down. We're at a 13-11, though. Since moving this equipment up, it's given us this flag. He doesn't have anything here in the center. Pack 38 is in position now to take out my SPW-233. And they trade. So we've got two armored vehicles, and I'm in an ambush position here. We're both just kind of holding ground here, but I'm able to push forward. So we're at a 1410 as my pioneers end up taking this flag down here. In the center, the MG-42 is still laying down fire. My Pack 40 is in position now. Somehow seeing infantry over here, I guess that sniper team in the church. But my MG-42 team is probably going to be destroyed here any second. My Stug 3 is up. Going to fire at that Zerinyi. Misses. And uh, Pack 40 is still back here firing down the road. So This deck I actually built for 10 versus 10, so I don't really have anything vetted on it. I think if I were to rebuild it for... Wow, that did a ton of damage to that Pack 40. Really need to take him down. Unfortunately, he took out my Stuke 3 and my Pack 40. So this guy... They do trade, which again was really big for me. I got another Stuke 3 up here. MG42 in position. If I, Like I said, if I were to rebuild this deck, I would uh, definitely vet some of my infantry. As I had built it for 10 versus 10. So, using this little armored car to lay down some machine gun fire on all his infantry back here seems to be working to pin down his guys here. I've just got one Panzergrund team down here. Stug 3 ended up ambushing and taking out those tanks, so that was great. We got this flag. We pushed through the center. He's just got this force here, this platoon. And uh, he's got... He has, he has um, magnetic mines, so if I can stay back, he tried to hit me. He missed. If I try to stay back a little bit, hopefully I can shoot into the forest and try to kill him off. SPW-233, I've got his retreat route blocked here. We've got him locked in with an MG-42. I'm bringing up more MP-44 teams here. And uh, now we'll just continue to take out his assault teams here. I'm going to bring in some artillery to soften up his positions, too. Unfortunately, our MG42 over here is getting shelled. These uh, I've said it before in other matches. If you haven't watched, the, the Takeham R2s are really great. Combining that machine gun with the Zis-3 um, for, like, 40 points. Get the ambush on the uh, Zerinyi, but he, he manages to turn on the second shot, so... Not going to be able to take out that front armor, unfortunately, and he one-shots us. I brought in 81mm mortars. We got these guys all suppressed. I'm going to move up my MP44 team, and we're going to do kind of a pincher move here on his group. So, spotting down the road, it looks like we've got another Jagdpanzer firing away at another recon vehicle we've got. He gets a side shot on him, but I move him back in time. To save him, I think that was APCR, unless he would have been dead. So, no reason to really risk an engagement while we can ambush him over here. I had moved this MG42 team back as they were getting spotted by the sniper team and uh, just were losing men really fast. Another recon aft track moving forward. Definitely get these. I would say don't vet them. Like, I'm just bringing in tons of them. And with their howitzer, 75mm howitzer, they're so useful for 25 points. So after we suppressed all these guys, I moved my Panzergrenz forward, my MP44 teams forward, and we pretty much wiped them out except for one team there. And these guys aren't super strong. I think they've got just one ZB30 and five... G43s. So he's got another assault team moving forward. And he's starting to move his guys back. Maybe to reinforce. He's going to push down this way, possibly. 
So bring in another 81 here because my goal again was to soften these guys up and then assault. You get the ambush on the uh, Jagdpanzer. See if he misses the shot. Unfortunately, he lands it. But uh, we make quick work of him. He still has two recon vehicles here. Definitely a danger to uh, light armor and uh, infantry. MG42 back into position. He's trying to push through the center now. So tried pushing through up north. He didn't really make a move down south because I engaged him, and then he's trying to. He's been trying to push through the center. He's got 60 millimeter mortars, which are definitely dangerous. He's trying to come back into the north again. I'm moving some more of these small sauce troop teams through the forest. Try to clear this front line out. Tons and tons of ZB-30 fire, though, on this five-man team. I'm going to move this armored car up from my spots route. Try to add some suppression to them. He does have that Zerinyu back here. My 81s are going to fire on his position here shortly. MG-42 is hitting him from his... Left flank, we've got the howitzer in the front here. I'm going to bring in some MG-26 teams up here. And the mortars are starting to hit his men who are out here on the road. We did take out that team with our MP-44s. Now he's in range to see my guys, though, so I can hopefully I pull him back in time. I can't remember. He misses. And uh, we are able to escape. Got a Stug 3 back here in reserve. 250 slash 8 just firing away at uh, his recon vehicles. I got a 231 now because I'm out of the 233s. We've got the Pioneers moved up to try and clear it out, and the 81 should start coming down here soon. Now he's bringing in these uh, AC 75s. Tried to do a little bit of a strafing run. He's going to bring in a 25 mil cannon. These things are really good, super dangerous units. Pioneers are in the woods here, so. Getting decent suppression on this triple vetted. We can keep moving forward. We don't kill ourselves. Bring in a Brita AC 47 and a 50 mil and a recon team. I'm moving up my Martyr 2 here because I want to take out these guys. Got a Stug 3 back here, which I'll move up eventually. And we're still dealing with his assault up here. I'm going to move this Stug 3 in, do a little bit of a strafing run on his guys advancing forward, his fanatical dudes moving forward here. Bringing up a Martyr. Just want to get this guy down. His front armor is pretty strong. His top is strong, so he can't really strafe him with 20 mils. So we've wiped these guys out, except for the last one here, the leader. My SPW-233 is engaging. We do get the shot on from the Martyr-2 back here. Again, if he moves forward, he's going to get ambushed by the Stug-3. He is bringing back a JU-87, though. It could be that first one we saw after it got repaired. He's going to go for the Martyr. And uh, it's like a second cluster went through and took it down. So I did bring in an IG-33 as he has a high concentration of infantry in here. Managed to take out my Pac-40 and bring up a Stug-3 to deal with the Jagdpanzer-38. He has captured this flag with that assault he pushed over. MG-2016 just being engaged with way too much equipment over here. Like to take this flag back. Got a martyr coming down the road here. Maybe try to make a pincher move on these guys. So we end up capping this flag. It's a 1410. But we're really, I mean, he, look at how much more equipment he's got out here. And he's playing on um, Maverick, and I'm just doing regular income. So that definitely shows up in phase B. I mean, you feel it. But while he's doing these little attacks, like, again, if he, I would say if he mortared this area and just pushed forward, 
and he started pushing forward up here, like, right now with everything, I would, I would have lost for sure. I'm, I know he's overcommitted to certain areas, so I figured we've got reconnaissance. I'm moving up a, a platoon up here to take advantage of these three flags in the middle. Because I'm about to lose the, I know I'm going to lose these flags, so take the other flags that aren't guarded. So we're at a 16-8 right now. And my IG-33, if he comes up this way, it's going to hit him, but he's like just out of range to hit down here. And I think over here, that's just not... You need like 2,500 meters to really use it effectively from the center of the map. But my 81s are firing away again. He's got another platoon coming up and an off map coming in. My martyr looks like it just got killed up here by the Zrinyi. But uh, we did damage him. I have the Panzer Grens leading the way here to cover the advance of the Stug 3 so he doesn't get ambushed. We've retaken the flag. And the MG26 teams can use... Um, you know, they, they, they can use their machine guns up close since they're an automatic rifle. I was going to try and get across here, but he was able just to see me. So, wanted to just drop some flames on him. I've got... since he's, so he's giving me time here. So I'm bringing in more Pioneer squads. I've got my MG26 team up here. He's trying to reinforce his flags back here. And uh, he, he hasn't moved these guys up here. We, our Stu did end up taking fire from this Rinyi and taking some... Actually, no. I take that back. It was a cluster bomb. Sorry. There's so much stuff going on all over the map. It's hard to stay track of everything. That's why I said this game was just very stressful. And uh, he's having a hard time keeping track of it, too. You see he left his guys in the truck here. We're at a 15-9, five minutes to go. 60 mils take out my armored car, which is like the really the only thing holding it back. Stug 3 is destroyed by the HS-129. And the BF-9 G4 just does not have enough juice to take out any of his aircraft. So, Pioneers here, spotting everyone. We've got mortars on the Vickers he had brought in. And he doesn't have, I mean, for some reason, we're just back far enough that this guy can't see my infantry. We've got another engagement going on here in the center. Where, uh, unfortunately, he caught me out in the open. I was trying to move forward here. So, we're starting to get chewed up here, but we've taken out quite a few of these guys. And uh, fortunately for us, these Panzergrens just seem to be better than the Rostatori. They, they were single vetted. So we'll take out a sniper team here, Rostatori, and we've got these flags still. It's going to off map my flags up here. He's got more guys. I mean, look, he's got tons and tons of stuff up here. So I'm bringing my Stern Pioneers and Pioneers because I figure I've got him back. I figure he's going to end up taking this. Tron 2 spotting my pioneers here. But uh, I brought in a 105. These, KT, these K35Ts are really nice, but unfortunately don't have a ton of ammunition. So we're at a 17-7, three minutes to go. Another, another platoon coming in this time with armored reinforcement here. Stug 3 manages to take out his Tehran. All these guys got him falling back. He is focused on the north, though, with his infantry. 
We're at a 16-8, so the major assault is beginning. I have the Stug 3 here to cut him off best I can. Our last Pioneer Squad here, JU-88, again doing damage and taking out my Stugs. Ended up getting these Rossistori teams out of their trucks way back here. The Zis 3 doing lots of damage to my MG-26 squad, though. And another aircraft taking out my Stug 3, so... Again, having some difficulty using the BF-109s, even when they're already in play, and they're getting pushed off. So I would say don't take the G-4s. <laughs> I will definitely drop them from my deck. MG-42 managed to catch some of these guys out in the open. We've got Stern Pioneers in here. These guys are pretty suppressed. He's managed to capture this flag up here, 15-9. We've got another off-map coming in here. Stern Pioneer's about to move in. He's got Pioneer's coming across out in the open here. Unfortunately, these guys end up taking us out. Another cluster bomb coming in for our Stug 3. And another one goes down. Off map coming in on my reinforcements here. 1410. Enemies wiped me out down here, but not advancing. We've got a four man team pinned down over here who's running low on ammo. We've got one stuck up here, and our 250 slash 8 is almost out of ammo. He is seeing these guys from behind. We're going to start bringing in our Panzergren teams. So. I've got one Panzergren team holding off three Pioneer teams who are double vetted. And these R1s surrender. We get surrendered by the rush of infantry coming forward. I've brought in 120 millimeter mortars. We've got more and more men pushing forward. My stern pioneers are up a little too close. Taking fire from the Rossitori. Another off map coming in here. Our main force left right now is in the center. It's at a 12-12 now. One man Vickers team still up, firing in at my armored car, manages to take him down. And uh, we've got this whole platoon with armored support to deal with. It's only got two eight high explosive rounds left, though. SPW-233, gun jam crit on the first shot from the field gun. Not good. Moving in, two more Panzergren teams. They cost 30 points, so... Zerini spotting my guys down here. Takes out three men with one shot. MG-42 just spitting away on these guys. And the IG-33 doing its work, too. We end up advancing past his off-map. JU-87 coming back in for the Stug 3. Gets his bomb load off as the worthless BF-109 G4 does absolutely nothing to it. So he takes out another Stug 3, which is... Very unfortunate because now he is pushed into a 1311 when we had about one minute to go. If BF 109 finally kills a plane. And uh, we're at a 1311. We've managed to push forward and capture that flag. He's got his defense force here. I'm moving up another 231 here. Try to take these guys out. I'm out of munitions on both these trucks. 81's got 20 shells left for this area. He's uh, moving forward aggressively for this flag. Bring in more Panzergren 26's as I'm out of assault teams. And they can use those guns up close. We've got another platoon of regular Panzergrens coming from the north side of the map here. R1 goes down. Spot Troop gets spotted after using his MG-34. The MG-42 is spotting the Rostori out in the open. 
We managed to take out that Vickers gun, and I'm moving up the 231. We're at a 12 12. More 60s back here. Bring in another Stug 3 here to look down the road. And my IG 33 had been taking some fire, but fortunately he redirected to these infantry teams. My this Pioneer squad though is out of out of view. IG 33 doesn't really have a threat from that R2 anymore because he's out of high explosive, so we continue to lay fire on the infantry. So I'm moving these uh, MG26 teams through the forest. He's starting to pull his guys back. I'm going to come down from the north as well. And I would say based on his veterancy, he probably doesn't have a lot of gas in the tank left. Bringing in a recon aircraft. Have my FLAC 38 team down here trying to do something. And two planes and a FLAC 38 cannot destroy the mighty JU-88. I'm going to half platoon of Stug 3s to roll through the center. I've got my recon team up here. Moving forward. My IG-33 is pinned by probably mortars. And another firefight going down here. Pioneer is spotting somebody. I think this, yeah, Panzergrand team... But I, I think the mighty MG42s, even though he's double vetted, will uh, will take him down. So managed to take out my Flag 38 and the munitions truck I was using for the IG 33. R2 gets a side shot on my Stug 3, manages to destroy him. Still not spotting this guy. Misses on his third shot. Okay, we finally see him. We get a penetration on the first shot. Can we take him down? Miss. Destroyed. That that was absolutely my fault. So we still have two Pioneer guys holding this flag here. We're just off this flag. Pulling these guys back while they're suppressed. So we lose another team. Stern Pioneer is going to clear out these Pioneer. -y. We should be able to capture this flag back. So we just got a single take home here, guarding this flag. Bringing up a Martyr 2. Two of them, and then more Stug 3s. I have quite a few of them in this deck. So it sort of feels like he's got everything on the table now, because he's not bringing anything in. He's also got only 80 points to deal with, where I've got 155, because I made it through Phase B. So now we're at a 14-10 as we flip this flag back, and we're flipping this flag back with a Panzergren team here. But he's pushing me off of this flag, so the center gets flipped back his way. 60 mils coming down. I don't have anybody there at the moment. And he's got one... One elite team here. So 13-11, 45 seconds to go. He's going to make a last ditch. Panzergrens do spot these guys out here. Our IG-33 is not firing yet. He's getting into position. HS-129 takes out the empty shell of a half-track. BF-109, incapable of destroying an aircraft yet again. Martyr takes out that R2 that was pain in my rear. And our IG-33 two-man team, who's still up, is managing to take out these guys who are trying to assault across to cap that flag and even things up. So... We're gonna hang on and win here at the end. 29 minutes, 48 seconds. <laughs> a very stressful map. Take a look at the team stats here. He ended up out killing me by about 200. 
and look at the kills. A JU-88, again, was a huge pain. Do not bring the BF-109 G4. Complete waste of time. That Zrenyi up at the north gave me some problems. Tehran took out a few pioneers. Russell Tory took out that team in the back, I think. No, this is a different group. I don't know where that was. Pioneer, -y. I think that was in the house next to that flag. Another Rossori took out a few squads, so let's take a look at our team. What we did here, that 233 really took out four units. Stug 3 took out all his pretty much armor. MG42 that I pushed up really did well in taking guys out. These 250 slash 8s took out a ton of stuff up front. 120s took out a few units. Uh, regular Panzer Grand Squad did pretty well. And then just lots of one-off stuff. And we got, we got one plane here. So we managed to take out two planes, but really not, not great. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like and subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.